saying about lighting before the Mara get here because she only had like a few hours. I'm trying to clean up everything first before she get here. We need to start blocking out this light. So bright in here, it's daytime. One of those, one of those days that uh, Texas weather decided to have suns coming out. But when you step outside, it's like 40 degrees. <laughs> it's pretty cold outside, but it's sunny. So you're gonna use trash bag to block out the light. Hopefully it's work. Um, this is just what I have at my house right now. It seems like, I don't know, let's turn around. So you can see how big up the windows around this, around my place. We got the window right here, wrap around all the way, and also another door to go to the backyard. So there's a lot of uh, lights coming through. Okay, Sam, where are we going? All right, so it turned out that we don't have enough trash bag. Not that we don't have enough, I think trash bag, it's not a thick of like a material to blow out the light. So now we're on the way to Walmart, um, getting maybe a curtains or a bed sheet, the black one, so we can block out the light. That way we can control all the lights. We're running a little bit behind, per usual. <laughs> <laughs> we are abandoned <laughs> the shower curtains, and we are going with the bed sheet. Uh, we don't know how thick this material is, but it's, at least it's black. And I think it's going to work just fine. Alright, so right now we are blocking the window uh, to make sure there's no light coming through. Because we are, again, filming a nice scene during the day. So, we, are, we got this little expensive bed sheet, about $10 from Walmart. <laughs> uh, we got a few of them. Um, now we're just blocking it out and hopefully it's work. I don't know how thick it's gonna be. It's not like industry grade thickness for like blocking out light, but we do what we can. We have the Aperture B7C. The reason why you want to use this um, instead of regular light bulb is number one thing is to reduce flicker because this light design for film set so there's going to be no flicker also of course this thing is full RGB so we're gonna connect to the app control the light you can dim it change the intensity change the light color so it's perfect for like this type of like setup for key light we're going to use the Emeran Turn C the reason is it's full RGB so it's easy for me to change to a moonlight color or whatever color that we are going to use. This light's RGB, but I feel like it's more like a stronger direct light. So I'm gonna turn this off and then put the Ember and more PC and just turn it. Blasting the lights toward that direction to get, I guess, a better uh, ambience light, and then just turn this this light off. So, uh, it's Amaran 150C. Again, it's RGB, full RGB. It's less powerful compared to 300s, but it's powerful enough for what we intend to do. So right now we just put a little bit of fox in the scene Just get a little bit of like It's on the table Just get a little bit of texture to the, to the frame Wow I went in, I went in like what is the cheapest cigarette? I know, he yeah, said that and I was like That was a great boomerang! Yeah. Okay, it looks pretty good Uh, it looks pretty good on the camera. 
but I'm gonna get a close up. However, this lens, the minimum focus is kind of far, it's probably like right here. So I'm gonna switch to 75 millimeter and I'm gonna add the diopter, which is basically just like a magnified lens. Closing remarks. Any closing remarks? Um, you know, this is a good learning experience. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. It's just to get more practice in like lighting because you can watch all the tutorial, you can watch all the YouTube, anything. And it's like, oh, it looks easy, but it's never the same because the video you watch, they film at different location, different lighting, different scenario. So what we have in front of us is like more practical. So how are you going to apply that into the space that you have right now? That's why we're doing this. It's, it's a lot of learning process. We, I feel like we had some trial and errors here and there trying to figure things out. But overall, I think we did a good job. And I guess what we tried to do, I think we accomplished it. I'm glad we got to be able to do this and um, get it done. And hopefully it's something we can do like weekly or bi-weekly. Hope you enjoy. Apollo! There he is. Aww. Hello.